Hey class, I'm out in the woods after our newest big snowstorm, and it's actually a great opportunity for us to talk about fossils. Fossils, all they are, are just the evidence that plants or animals have been there at some point in the past. So when I'm looking around, I'm seeing a lot of evidence that people have been here, snowmobiles have been here, I see some cross-country ski tracks. So in today's video, what I want to talk about are two main types of fossils. First, we have trace fossils, and then we have mold fossils. Trace fossils, really simply, are just the tracks. So imagine instead of this being snow, this is mud. So I'm going through the mud and I'm leaving footprints, funny footprints with my nice spiky shoes. Or we had our snowmobile going through here and it left snowmobile tracks. We have our skiers that go through here. Animals, I even saw moose tracks today went through here. They all left tracks. So if this was mud and over time that mud actually hardened and then we dug it up millions of years later, we would call those trace fossils. All it is is just the footprints or the evidence that something was moving through here. Our other type of fossil, mold fossils. So these are a little bit different. So say I'm a big dinosaur and I'm walking through the woods and actually it's my last day. So I might just collapse. Now I'm dead. So if I was a dinosaur and I just lived my last day, I'm not moving. I'm going to be right here. My whole body is going to decompose away eventually. And then what's actually going to be left after my whole body is now decomposed and gone is a mold. So this is a mold of my body, where if I was deposited there, that's what it's leaving behind. So again, this would happen in mud. It would be hardened over time, and it would turn into rock. And that would be our fossil. That is our mold fossil. Our other type, once again, is our trace fossil, just the footprints. So if I deposit these in mud, and then over time they hardened, we dig them up, we would call those trace fossils. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the demo class.